All right, <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about pattern and inductive reasoning. So the first thing we're going to work with are some sequences. So find the next term in the sequence. So we have 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5. So let's see if we can determine a pattern with this. So to get from 1 to 3, we're adding 2. 3 to 2 is minus 1. 2 to 4 is plus 2. 4 to 3 is minus 1. 3 to 5 is plus 2. So we established a pattern of plus 2 minus 1. So the last thing we did was plus 2. So in the next one, we got a minus 1. So our next term, 5 minus 1, would be 4. All right, let's try two more sequences. So we have 1 3rd, 2 9 3 27. So if you look at the top, 1 to 2 is plus 1. 2 to 3 is plus 1. So it looks like we're adding 1 on the top, our numerator. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And then on the bottom, 3 to 9, well, we're adding 6, but that doesn't make sense because 9 plus 6 isn't 27. So let's think of multiplication. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So we're going to be multiplying by 3. So to get our next term, we got to do 27 times 3, which is 81. So our next term in the sequence would be 4 over 81. All right, next one, we got two tenths, twelve hundredths, four hundredths. So we're going down. So to get from two tenths to twelve hundredths, that's minus eight hundredths. And then to get from twelve hundredths to four hundredths, that's again minus eight hundredths. So we got a pattern there. So if we minus eight hundredths, we'll get our next term. So four hundredths minus eight hundredths is going to give us negative four hundredths. All right, next we got what is a counterexample that disproves the conjecture? So our conjecture is all prime numbers are odd. So all we have to do is think of a prime number that is an odd. So if we start thinking of prime numbers, uh, we can just start listing some of these out. So we got two, three, five, seven, eleven, um, thirteen. And you notice all these are odd except for the very first one. So a um, what disproves this is the number two. Two is prime, but it's not odd. All right, one more conjecture to disprove. Any number squared will result in an even number. So we can just think of some numbers, you know, let's start at 2 squared, that equals 4, well that's even, 3 squared equals uh, 9, well 9's not an even number, so that disproves it. So when you're working on these, uh, you just have to think of anything that's going to make it a false statement. Um, so just kind of guess and pick some numbers and see which one works. That um, disproves the conjecture.